and now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for September 29th. On the radar, it's still Tropical Storm Kujira, which is the only named tropical cyclone active right now on day 273 of the year so far. 76 storms formed this year to date. The average is 92. Looks like we'll reach that with another three months still to go. Uh, day 121 in the Atlantic, uh, the remnants of Paulette still at it near the Azores but looking terrible actually. And now that area of interest in the Western Caribbean, we've put 30% on it, not quite as confident as National Hurricane Center who are giving I think they're 50% now or 40, close to that. Uh, day 138 in the Eastern Pacific, where a 90% chance for an area of interest uh, which is most likely to develop to, into a tropical cyclone and probably a hurricane as it moves towards the west-northwest but we've said that before this year and it hasn't happened in the western pacific Kujira moving on towards the north then northeast during today 30 percent which will form just behind it potentially and behind that 20 percent chance further south which the chances will probably increase as time goes on because that's near the end of the five-day period no systems active elsewhere around the world, um, still all quiet uh, in the areas that we expect quiet at this time of year, no nasty surprises. Looking at latest satellite imagery, this is the North Atlantic right now, you can see generally a rather disturbed Atlantic Ocean basin. Um, barely can you can see the remnants of Paulette, but more interestingly you've got that wave there in the Eastern Caribbean which is probably what will become the area of interest. You could argue it already is an area of interest and in the Gulf of Mexico there things looking um, rather interesting. Uh, thunderstorms blowing up across the central Gulf. In the Eastern Pacific uh, that disturbance taking form a little bit more today. Um, rotation starting to increase a little bit. It will really get its act together in the next 24, definitely 48 hours. I'd be very surprised if it's not a tropical storm by then and probably a uh, rapidly, not rapidly intensifying, but considerably intensifying one. In the Western Pacific, you can see Kujira on the right hand side. All of that frontal mess there south of Japan is what we've got marked down as that 30%. It does have an outside chance of forming. Then further south, you've got that other little burst of convection that's still there. Kujira left it behind. Um, not sure whether that's the area that we'll be watching next. It's a complicated picture there in the Western Pacific. And in the south, Things looking fairly quiet as you'd expect. Uh, lots of thunderstorms though over the Solomon Islands and over the eastern part of Papua New Guinea. The Indian Ocean, most of the monsoon is uh, staying out over the Bay of Bengal, although southern Myanmar um, is getting in on a lot of that and parts of Thailand and the very southern part of India. Sea surface temperatures then, uh, around 30 degrees along the coast of Mexico, are still staying fairly warm close to the continent but further out to sea over there in the eastern pacific temperatures go away quite a bit so any systems that get strength will do it in the eastern part of the basin the atlantic caribbean sea you look at that 30 degrees plus it's just waiting for action um, not that we want it but it looks like that's going to happen within the next five days 28 degrees extending further north past florida there still as well the indian ocean Bay of Bengal will be somewhere to watch in the next three or four weeks. October is usually the beginning of the second peak in that basin. And in the Western Pacific, very warm water still uh, in the, most of the Philippine Sea, 30 degrees plus, extending all the way to Guam, beyond there even, um, over Micronesia, the South China Sea, 30 degrees and above. Where Kujira is right now as well, still warm enough for tropical cyclones, it will probably start weakening from here on in. Sea surface temperature anomalies look like this, and as you can see, what's helping Kujira right now, it's 65 miles per hour by the way, um, very warm sea surface temperature anomalies, certainly going to go in its favour. Um, still slightly warm anomalies in the uh, Western Pacific proper. The Atlantic, the Caribbean, you just look at that, temperatures very warm, especially along the coast of Central America. On this day last year, September 29th, 2019, we had three tropical cyclones active. 
We still think Lorenzo was a Category 4 at peak. Uh, there is a possibility it was Category 5, of course. National Hurricane Center went with that. Uh, but we think that the uh, more likely scenario is that it didn't quite get to that intensity. That argument's going to go on and on. Nada was a tropical storm, weak as it struck the coast of Mexico. And Mitag was a Category 1 typhoon, moving up towards Taiwan. So the next name on the Atlantic naming list in this remarkable season, and it looks like the next one could be on the way, it's Gamma. In the Eastern Pacific, the next name is Marie. In the Central Pacific, we're waiting for Hone. In the Western Pacific Basin, after Kajira, we have Chan Hong, followed by Linfa. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list one is Gatti. In the Southern Hemisphere, things will start up in about a month, maybe a little bit longer. Um, in the Australian region, the next name is Imogen, followed by Joshua. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, we start with Alicia, followed by Bongoyo. And in the South Pacific, it's Yolanda, followed by Zazu. That's all for now. We'll be back with another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow night.